Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta man. go fast. So, last you guys saw, I was playing... Justin. Justin was playing Sonic. Justin. Justin was We're playing We're both Sonic. playing. I'm holding... Uh, my hand is on his lap. and We are one. We are connected. Squeezing. So hard. Tell me if I'm squeezing too hard. No, you're never squeezing too hard. You're really fucking hard. But we just saved Tails, and now we're going to go... Uh, like, what, one... Okay, so, if I wasn't here, honestly... You know what? I'm gonna let Justin figure it out. I'm not gonna say a single word of what to do or where to go. I'm gonna let Justin figure it out, because that's how this game should have been played. Okay, well, I mean, I know what to do. What do you want? What do, you do Justin? Where go do you right go? right here. Go right here. That's the next level. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so, bam. Went through there. Look at that businessman. Gotta Why are you to, at the beach? Gotta talk to him. Why are you at the beach, dude? Like, he goes out and, like, sits on a lawn, on a lawn chair and starts thinking <laughs> about fucking... Right. You know, La Chiado or what something. What is this? What is this? It's a harbor. <laughs> okay. It's a jet ski harbor. You never seen one? Yeah, I've seen them. Ugh. Can I go through? Yes, I can. Where are we at? Well, where are you supposed to go right now? What's your objective? What oh, I don't know. I don't know my objective. I usually, when I played games like this when I was younger, it would just be like, oh, I'm supposed to go somewhere. You give a shit somewhere. about the dialogue? Dude, when I was a kid, I wasn't that into the dialogue. You would s constantly talk about Jack and Daxter, the dialogue. Okay, that's not when I was a kid. How old were you when you played that? <sighs> Probably started 12, 11, Jack and Daxter. Now, you're pretty conscious around that age. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, I remember, uh, I didn't play that. I played Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper Dude, was good. Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper was fun. Sly Cooper was awesome. Like, I enjoyed that game a lot. Yeah. Justin, what's down here? I have no clue, dude. What, what is all this? I have no idea. Maybe it's a level. There we go. Let's go up. Let's go. It's going to make you watch him climb up the whole ladder. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny, actually. Okay, people don't look at it. Go up, go that direction up the stairs. Up these stairs. Yeah. And, uh... But, dude, no, Sly... Okay, sorry, continue. I was already done. You're going to fight Ravonna. Go ahead about Sly Cooper. Dude, Sly Cooper was so cool. I got. I remember playing Sly 1, 2, and 3. They made an HD remake for the PS3. Yeah, I need to I buy that shit. If I had a PS3, I would have been all over that. You should get a PS3, Dude, that's man. why I wanted to get a PS3. Because you should get a PS3. they had all the remakes of like your favorite games when you were younger. Dude, they're cheap nowadays. Exactly. And they have so many fucking good games. They do. I don't know why you sold your Xbox for 10 cents to GameStop. I don't know, man. <laughs> you just like beg you need to crack money or something. You're just like, I just need it, man. Give it to me. Dude, no, that's kind of how it was because I was trying to get a trade-in for the PlayStation 4. And you could have sold it on... You could have sold it to me for like three times as much as those a-holes. You had such good shit I would have bought from you. Yeah, I know. I'll take you I'll, by like, force I, I just the gotta, hard way. I just oh, dude, Eggman's gonna get hard with Sonic. I just gotta remember to never sell to GameStop. Dude, I... I when I was I was surprised. I'm I'm so thankful that I actually had like a, a knowledge about video games to an extent and didn't just sell it to GameStop for like ten dollars. And I was like, wow, this is a lot of money. Because most kids are like, I don't give a fuck. I just want money. Yeah. I went to GameStop. I took them like twenty Game Boy Advance games, and I'm talking Legacy of Goku, Sonic Advance, a bunch of good games. They were gonna give me like fifty cents for each one, and I I was like maybe nine at the time. I, I was I scoffed at him. I was like, no, that's dumb. And I left. It is dumb. I left. I left. I was this bullcrap. These games are worth way more than that. Yu Yu Hakusho, the game. Oh, you got you got an image for it. So do you know why Doctor Eggman's here? Do you know what you did to him? No, I don't. Light me, light me, please. Because you got glasses on. And I assume with those on you can read. Well, I was talking to you about Sly Cooper. <laughs> yeah, I know. Get off my case. <laughs> you know, so, Dr. Eggman wants to get the Chaos Emeralds from you because you're a filthy blue animal. Okay. And you're going to use the Chaos Emeralds to make something stupid, like an unlimited supply of, like, kibble. And <laughs> <laughs> you're a dumb animal. Robotnik wants to cure diseases, and you're stopping them. You know, actually, Sonic's the villain in this whole game. Did you know that? I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. Sonic's been the whole villain. Sonic's been the villain in every single game. Dr. Robotnik's been trying to cure cancer. You're just, you're fucking and with me now. And Sonic has just always impeded him. And it's always been this thing where like, oh no, Sonic's a good guy. Robotnik's trying to make everything bad. No. Yeah, yeah, Brumbuck's a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. He kills millions. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Robotnik wants a Chaos Emerald. That's yeah. all you gotta know. Okay. Chaos Emeralds are the biggest thing about this game. I just beat him and he's just like sitting there like, I'm defeated. Well, yeah, he just kind of fell so to the hard. side. And he's just, <laughs> he's just chilling stuck. there. He's just yeah. stuck. He's just like... Oh, why would you hold oh, it out fuck. right in front of him? Tails, you? what the fuck? Why what? would you do that, Tails? You were practically walking oh to give God. it to him. Walking to give it to him. Tails, you're so fucking stupid. Just 
Might as well walk through Africa with like a big delicious cheese pizza. Yeah, nothing's gonna happen to that. You won't get fucking stabbed and murdered for it. Oh job, man, job. look, it's- He's friends with Chaos! Oh, it's, it's, fuck. it's Hydra. We're fucking done, dude. We're done. This is too much. Turn this off the game, much. dude. He's got a Chaos Emerald. Oh man, he threw a Chaos Emerald on Chaos. We gotta start packing water Oh, dude, now food. he's got a bone in his arm? Yeah, he's got like this weird like cyclone like robot arm. Okay, so I'm gonna guess that every time he gets another Chaos Emerald, that. he's just gonna feed it to Chaos and Chaos is gonna be like, oh. Look, I got new stuff. Look at that, people. That's just him using his brain. He was able to put that together. One and two. I didn't. I was no? I don't know what the fuck he was. I I don't remember shit from when I was a kid, man. I, I can't remember a thought that I had when I was a kid that was like... I mean, you don't even remember important. where Dong and Ling went. I, well, they, they disappeared. That's the thing. I didn't even get to, like, say good... Oh, they don't, no, I did get to say goodbye to him. I remember now. Dong came to my house, and he was like... We were playing Dragon Ball Z Budokai, and he was like... I'm moving away forever, and I was like, whoa, okay, this is sudden, uh, uh, and then he, he just like, he's like, let's trade Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so you have a way to remember me, and I was like, that's really gay, but okay, and I gave him like a real shitty trap card, he gave me like a dark magician, I was like, alright, bye. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> such a douche. I was a kid, I didn't have that many good cards. Oh my god. I wasn't goodness. like a crazy Yu-Gi-Oh guy, I just like to play it once in a while. You're like, yeah, I guess you can have my trap door card. Dude, speaking about Yu-Gi-Oh, like, I remember one time, like, I watched so much Yu-Gi-Oh, I got to the point, dude, you're already figuring this game out, one by one. Careful. If you, if you, if you, like, lift up a panel, you find all of Tails, like, fox porn. All the foxes get fucked. I bet. So what are you gonna do with that, huh? What are you gonna get? What are you gonna I'm do? I'm gonna with figure it? it out. Yeah, figure it out. Do it. I'll just talk what you figure. Yeah. So keep talking. I was gonna say when I was like in Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, it's always normal for the first person you see to challenge them to a battle. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and I did that. I legitimately did that to a kid, and it was the weirdest experience. So he's walking past my apartment, like I'm sitting on the fucking stairs in front of the door, and then I'm like, hey. Do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? And he was like, actually, yeah. And he was carrying a deck with him. He was carrying a Yu-Gi-Oh deck with him. And I was like, whoa. And he's like, yeah, I play Yu-Gi-Oh a lot, actually. I'm like, yeah, I screwed up. Do you want to play? And he, do you want to play a game? And he was like, all right, sure. And we played a match. It's outside of the building. And uh, we played a match where... Yeah, I screwed up. What? What did you do? And he, like, threw it, and it just disappeared. Uh no, it's right there. It's right there. Okay. But I can't get it. You fucking glitched the game. I glitched it. God damn it! What am I supposed to do? You can't. Okay, so this is okay. Go go to the train station. Hold on, hold up. You can't pick it up from the wall. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny though. Man, that's fucking lame. No, no, no. Okay, go go down there and just go. You remember that heart? You remember that little water space we went to underneath the train? Yeah. Go there again. It'll respawn everything. I've never seen that before. That's who the hell is this guy? He's a, ex a safari explorer. He's exploring the unknown. I can't believe that garbage. That was actually really. I did not know that would ever happen. I've never done that, <laughs> ever. Wow. Okay. I'm you also didn't go that one direction I'm, that I went. I'm learning some new things about Sonic that I don't want to know. So I will say that you told me to just comment on everything I don't like. What the fuck, man. <laughs> that was pretty weird. Okay, so looks like a key um, design. It must mean something. something. It looks like a big, big old, big old dildo. Yep. Right so I'm gonna go this way. So the kid. I, okay, back to the story. I, uh, I challenged the kid to a Yu-Gi-Oh battle, and then fire like started like exploding from behind me, and then my hair <laughs> flowed in the wind, and he was like, "You're on." Did you have a uh, piece of one of the Yu-Gi-Oh pieces? The stars on my glove. No, 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 like the, uh, I forgot about the stars in your glove. Yeah, are you talking about the arm one thing, where it's like an arm? No, I was uh, like, did you have a, a pyramid puzzle? <laughs> I did! Oh, yeah? My parents got me a Yu-Gi-Oh cake, and they took it to my school, and it had, like, a big old, like, Yu-Gi-Oh puzzle on it, and you could make it to a necklace. Man, like, do you remember when, like, you just wanted, like, Yu-Gi-Oh themed stuff, or Pokemon themed stuff? Yeah. You didn't even care if, like, kids were like, man, I don't even like Yu-Gi-Oh, you're like, I do, Hold deal on. with it. I will get into that, but let me just finish this because it's really quick. So basically, I challenged him. Uh, he he beat my ass, like he wiped my butt clean. Oh yeah. Yu Gi Oh cards, yeah. I was fucking done at the end, and we played for keeps on our like best cards. Uh, I lost, and I don't know how it, like it segmented over to this, but pretty much I 
I found a, a shoelace string, and then I don't know why. I think I was like playing with him or something, just being like, haha, yeah, you beat me. And then uh, I hit him in the eye with the shoelace tip. <laughs> I like hit it like you a see, whip. You I was, like, secretly <laughs> knew what you were doing. And I whipped him in the fucking eye, and he was just like, oh, what the hell? And I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. He's like, what the heck, man? Oh, like, oh, no. You know what? Forget this. And he just left. And I never saw him again. Man, you knew what you were doing, too. <laughs> you knew what you were My doing. My blue eyes white dragon was at risk. <laughs> I was at risk of being a so uh, just fucking nobody. Him in the face. I sniped him in the face with a whip in the eye, and he couldn't see again. And I was like, I won. I won that battle. <laughs> I, I am the true victor here. I am the true Yu-Gi-Oh master. Oh, man. You know what? I'm not going to lie. I did that stuff, too. I played for keeps on Yu-Gi-Oh games. And it would really suck when you didn't win. Oh, I always won. Holy do you. Dude, I was good at Yu-Gi-Oh. I was good at Yu-Gi-Oh. It was I had the. Uh, That's new. I never saw that before. Like, I had the. Uh, I had a good combination. I had the Revival Jam, Jam Defender, and Jam Breeding Machine. No one knows what you're talking about. Nobody knows. What you you're know talking what I'm about, talking you about, nerd. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what about. the fuck you're talking about. I remember the first Yu-Gi-Oh, like the very first edition, and that's it, dude. If you look dude, at Yu-Gi-Oh, part of it. If you look at Yu-Gi-Oh nowadays, dude, it's so goddamn confusing. I, dude, I, it is. He, my, a friend of mine, we were like, oh, let's fuck it, let's get drunk and play Yu-Gi-Oh, because I had all my old cards. I built a deck. He bought a deck of the new cards, and oh my god, there was. He beat the shit out of me immediately because there's all this cool crap about it. It was yeah. weird. It was really weird. No, no dude, games. like, uh... But the it, thing you were saying about themed shit, how you had to have anything that was themed after it. Justin, what are you doing? I'm trying to figure You're out... making your audience mad! Oh! They're screaming, slapping the keyboards, like, what are you doing? There we go. Oh, you're riding the... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? That was my last life. Fuck! Okay. Oh, oh that's nice, actually. Yeah. Okay, so they're pretty nice about it. Yeah. That's good. So, yeah, dude, no, I, I did that, and I, uh, the jam breeding machine was kind of like a, a cheating, a cheating thing, because, like, it always enabled you to have, uh, have something on defense, so you never lost any life points. I, I, I kind of remember how you play Yu-Gi-Oh a little bit. I know it's not that hard, but... It's not. <laughs> But you're you saying something about kids always wanting themed shit, and man, dude, every birthday party I- Justin, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna uh, stop- Everyone's watching this too much. Just don't touch anything, just run. Don't spin dash, don't jump. Run? Kid no, don't spin dash! You I wasn't spin dashing! You spin dashed I right into it! I wasn't spin dashing! Don't spin dash look, into look, look, it! Look, look, just run. Don't do anything but walk forward and run into it. Eh? And there you That's go. That's lame. That's not lame. That's lame. You're, you're running on wind. Do you know how difficult that is? <laughs> God damn it, Justin. <laughs> Fuck me. All right. No, I actually like watching this. Justin's doing a good job. He's uh, uh, he's striding. He's a natural Sonic the Hedgehog himself. I am. I am the Sonic the Hedgehog. The Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. But I remember when I was a kid, when I was like five, I had like a Pokemon themed birthday party and it was like the biggest moment of my life. I had like Ash catch him on my tablecloth and... Pikachu on my cake. Oh man, <laughs> did you ever have like the the Pokemon sheets? I did. <gasps> oh man, I remember that stuff. I had a Pokemon comforter, or Pokemon sheets. What? Holy fuck is dude. going on? It's crazy, right? You're in a fucking tornado, dude. Now you gotta run inside of a tornado. Dude, this is insane. This is the shit that made me love this fucking game. And people were like, "Oh, it's so stupid and unimaginative." Like, fuck you, man. This is better than just running and, and sliding and hiding behind a box and shooting guns. Call of Duty! Call of Duty, MLG! Uh, hey, I was good at Call of Duty, though. Not really. I was okay. You bought Advanced Warfare, and I saw you die like 50 times in one hey, minute. Hey, we don't need to tell our fans that. No, don't get me wrong. It wasn't because Justin sucks at the game. You don't. It's, it's, you can just not not die in that game. You'll what? always fucking die if you take a step out. Some asshole's gonna have like some crazy robot drone that shoots a million fifty cal bullets into your kneecaps and blows them off. Yeah, dude, I'm just I was. I'm Game's totally, ridiculous. I'm totally more of a fan of like the old school one. I don't want robots and shit. I just want to, you know. Call of Duty Three. I like. No, actually, no. I don't even like Call of Duty anymore, dude. Honestly, I play Battlefield. Call of Duty is baby fucking applesauce bullshit compared to fucking Battlefield. Dude, Battlefield was good, but it is pretty difficult. It's difficult because it's more realistic. You actually have to look into certain things, like, uh... uh speaking of realistic, have you seen the Battlefield, uh, like, the, the GIF images of, like, somebody, like, jumping out of a plane, shooting the pilot of another one by with their pistol, and then falling into their plane and taking it? Okay, okay, that... <laughs> When I say realistic, obviously that is fucking ridiculous. He's obviously. Batman or some shit. Uh, 
the guns, for example. The guns, yes. You have to work with the accuracy and the certain way you angle them. They'll actually will, uh, it'll it'll decipher it by the distance and the way you angle it, which is really interesting. That gives you a lot more physics with guns, and it's nice. Yeah. I mean, for more baby uh, ten-year-olds who just have to point and click, then it's like, I'm the best. If I was in a war, I would like totally win. If I was in a zombie apocalypse, I'd totally win. That's the thing about Left 4 Dead 2 as well. Someone, if you ask someone like, oh, do you think you survive a zombie apocalypse? It's like, I played Left 4 Dead. I think I'll manage. It's like, yeah, asshole. If a fucking zombie breathes on you, you become one. Yeah. No, uh, I always hated the idea of uh, quick scoping, man. All the fucking people that quick scope. I, I don't even bother with dealing with that bullshit. Someone will make an MLG video of like Doritos and Mountain Dew, and it'll be them like doing a 360 like fucking quick scope. Yeah. Nah, dude. Uh, in terms of uh, first person shooter games, I gotta say, Medal of Honor Warfighter was my top pick. I did not like any more War Medal of Honors. Did you ever play Warfighter? Warfighter was the one after that one with the guy on the beard on the cover, right? Warfighter was the newest one. The last one they made. I... It, it faded in and out for me. I really didn't hear too much about it. Yes. Yeah, because it didn't have tails a... Tails, get out of my... What the fuck? <laughs> tails is face. We're trying to look cool, man. You're sitting in front of... Phasing through my hand. Derping out, man. But yeah, so like, Medal of Honor Warfare was probably my favorite first-person shooter game. To be honest. Not bad. It, it had the combination of the gun style of Battlefield, mm. but uh, it was able to make the map size more... Call of Duty. I like Warfighter. Oh, no, I didn't like Warfighter, but I like the one previous to Warfighter. Station. So I might like that. It was really good. Yeah. You're, you're talking about 2010. You like 2010? I think that was the year. I think that was the year it came out, legitly. Yeah, no, it's called Medal of Honor 2010. And then after that came out Warfighter. On the cover, I, I don't know. On the cover, it just said Medal of Honor. It had some dude with a beard on him yeah. and sunglasses. So, but, so where do you go next, Justin? Where do you go next? Well, I think we go to the end of this episode next. That was nice. I like that. Thank you. Cute one, but what he means is this, this is an episode. This is an episode, babies. We'll see you later. We're gonna be doing more of this, uh, maybe. If Justin wants to, only, only if you want to, only if you get better at it. I'm trying. You ain't doing I'm shit. I'm trying. Every time you died last time, everyone make fun of Justin. See you next episode. Bye.